New in Hyperlinks 9.2 is support for backdrilling. In addition to reading in backdrilling data from Expedition or an ODB++ 8.0 file, you can also experiment with backdrilling directly in BoardSim. Backdrilling is of course one of the methods used to eliminate stubs from vias or reduce stubs from vias to allow for uh, fast high-speed serial data transmission. Uh, and these, this via pair, for instance, you can see very large stubs on both the top and the bottom of the vias. And if we were to simulate that, we would see very poor performance on that serial link. Here you can see that we're just barely passing the eye mask uh, due to the degradation caused by the via stubs. So if we go in and set up back drilling on that via pair, we can select all the vias on that net, do automatic back drilling from both the top and the bottom which assigns the necessary back drills to each via. And if we now take a look at those vias in the via visualizer, we can see that the stubs have been completely re removed by the automatic back drilling assignment. And then if we were to re-simulate, and get rid of that previous waveform, we can see a definite improvement from the removal of those stubs. Now we have a quality passing eye. Now of course with back drilling there's always some kind of tolerance. So being able to set up a realistic back drill is also important. So uh, by default we automatically completely remove the stub but then you can also go in there and put in the diameter of your back drill and the setback. So there's going to be some tolerance, some setback from completely removing the stub. So if we put in our, our realistic uh, diameter and setback values and then look at the via again, uh, we can see that now there are some small stubs and we can look at how those will affect the signal by re-simulating. Re-simulate, get rid of the previous waveform. We can see that even with those short stubs, uh, we still have a passing eye with some amount of margin. And you can toggle the back drilling off and on. So with just a touch of a button, I can see the difference between a back drilled via and a non back drilled via and the effect that it's going to have on the signals. And that is the back drilling feature in Hyperlinks 9.2.